Tonight's forecast is sponsored by Ashbrook Audiology, where relationships matter. We're going to get right to the local forecast, and today we've been seeing some showers. If you were driving out like myself to work this morning, you got stuck in the sun, depending on where you were. If you were coming from uh, south of 220, coming into the city of Martinsville, I was doing a little driving around there this morning and came out of a shower or two. Then I got the city, things kind of calmed down, and it's been off and on throughout the day. So wherever you've been, I know Franklin County's been getting rain off and on. The city got some rain early today, and that's going to continue for the rest of tonight as our showers and storms will persist going in this evening hour here. Our chances of thunderstorms, maybe a rumble of thunder here or there with that. Any storm that does develop will be uh, gusty winds and the flash flooding will be the primary damaging threat with any of those storms. We'll begin to lose a lot of the activity, but look how cool our temperatures are though. Man, this is feeling like, like I said, October almost because our average high is still at 87 degrees for the start right now. Our over and our average overnight low, you kind of see there is 66. We're going to be a little uh, below that actually, so we're not going to be even near average. So some scattered showers will most likely be a best bet for the rest uh, this evening and going into your overnight hours and your early start to your Tuesday morning. So as you bring up here, here are some of your regional uh, overnight lows. Again, tonight our friends uh, in the 60s and upper 50s out there. So just keep that in mind. The reason why there's that caution um, uh, emblem out there is let you know again, some of these storms could be damaging winds with any gusty winds and maybe some hail with any of that does develop. But most of the activity will slowly end later on tonight. Again, rain is likely, so off and on we'll have some showers, kind of waves moving on in. And what's happening, we have a cold front, a stationary front that's going to get lined up once more. This time around, it will not be lingering like it was about a few weeks ago. Each and every day, I was beginning to sound like a broken record. So other than that, still below normal. So I do, again, take advantage of this. The humidity, not too bad out there. So it is it's going to be noticeable just a few days here or there. But other than that, things are going to remain kind of calm and cool for our Tuesday. Below average, again, a high is 87, 86. We're going to be almost about 15 uh, to 17 degrees below that uh, for our highs on our Tuesday. Uh, sunrise is coming in now at 637, so you may be noticing if you're an early riser that sun is coming up a little later now. We're getting uh, closer to fall, uh, which is less than about uh, 40 days away. So we are uh, on the heels of fall pretty soon. September 22nd, I believe, is the first day of the autumn equinox on that note. So if you're keeping count, there I want you to know what we're in, the, in for in the vicinity. So showers likely an overcast in the afternoon. Just keep all that in the back of your uh, mind. Give us a note ahead of us times. And again, our daytime highs tomorrow, once again, are going to be staying in the 70s. Uh, our 50s are overnight lows. Again, our friends towards Patrick County, Meadows of Dan, Stewart, Ararat, Claudeville, uh, outside Patrick Springs community there, you should be pretty okay. So maybe you're taking a flight out from the Blue Ridge Airport out there. Just keep that in mind that you may run into some rain early tomorrow morning if you're doing any traveling, maybe heading up 220, maybe if you're like a lot of our college students heading back to school, uh, heading the roads. Uh, do know, again, I was traveling the roads this morning and uh, boy, it was uh, quite all hectic. A lot of people get Getting back uh, in the groove of things for a lot of our college students. Some 70s are for our friends and they're outside Ferrum College. Maybe you're moving out towards that direction. Patrick and Henry Community College. I believe you all go back, uh, is it this week or next week? I'll have to get you know on that. Uh, double check, uh, be sure. But again, I'm not the academic advisor, so make sure you have your calendar and planner with you. Other than that, below average temperatures with that rain coming to an end in the morning, we may begin to see some afternoon clouds uh, with the uh, break in the rain. So that'll be some good news for all of us as you're doing some traveling or anything out and about. Moving on ahead now to the rest of your five day forecast. Here's what we have in store for you here. Again, that rain is long likely to be moving in for us as you get towards the early Tuesday morning hours. Just keep all that in mind. And so again, our temperatures are going to remain below average for this time of year. So if you're one of those people that likes the nice cool fall weather, well, it, take advantage of it because it's going to be here. It looks like for a little while to say the least as our temperatures on our Wednesday again, we most likely will begin to see a break in the activity on that as well. We're trying to uh, get our microphone fixed here. Sorry about that, folks. That area, you go. Let me pop it on the screen so you can see me again. Technology at its finest. It has its works of wonder when you don't want it to do what's going going on with it. Anyway, 76 for Wednesday, a mix of sun and clouds, a lot more sunshine uh, to put that into play. Well, again, 
not everybody's going to see rain all day Tuesday. Just do know that it's going to be kind of lingering showers and persist early in the afternoon. So you may get a few breaks of sunshine here again. Uh, nice below average uh, Wednesday. Take advantage of it. Those overnight lows, some 50s and overnight lows don't really budge much. We'll talk about that a little bit. Thursday, we may have some showers late in the day. This may be your typical pop and go thunderstorm, but other than that, other areas may remain pretty dry, unless you say the least, you may get you a shower that may be moving in our region. So highs near 76, still running about 10 degrees below average for that day. Getting about, the, again, still below average, but you know what though? Would, let's take a minute and breathe and not complain about this because June and July were the hottest we've seen in a while. We probably, I think we've averaged about almost 30 degree, 30, 90 degree days or more uh, total all those months uh, that we've accumulated. We had some in May, we had some in June, July. Now we had a couple earlier this month and so it does like up here. Are we done with the 90s? I can't say we aren't. But there's a possibility we may see some much warmer weather looking ahead toward the upcoming weekend. So Friday looking pretty all right there. Nothing to complain about. Maybe some late day rain showers or your typical pop and go storm. I love 64. Saturday, if you're going to make some plans, right now it's looking to bend on the wet side. But we'll keep a close eye on that as we do get closer to those events. Maybe, you know, it is the Smith River Fest. If you're curious, the Saturday is the Smith River Fest from 10 to 4. We will have live extended coverage on our Facebook page. So be sure to check that out. And we'll also have it on our airing on our TV station as well as our YouTube channel. We've emphasized this quite a bit. If you're looking for a little extra gas money, we're here to help you out with that. Uh, you know, the gas prices are ever so slightly coming down, but still pretty high. So if you're looking to get a little extra cash, here's what you can do. It's a nice gift card we're going to give away for $100. Head, to, head over to BTW21News. Doc, uh, youtube.com slash btw21 news hit that bell and like uh, you can follow us and subscribe on our youtube channel so you won't miss any of that our drawing will take place once we reach a thousand subscribers i believe you looked at it this morning i think we're about 632 i believe right now so uh, if you keep that in mind uh, head over to our facebook page and our youtube channel share our youtube channel for your uh, friends and families to let them know, hey, they can win a chance to get them a nice little gift card as well. So once we reach 1,000 subscribers, we're less than about 400 or 370 something away to reach that goal. So if you know someone that wants a little extra gas money, just subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once more again, we'll break it all down for you. Scattered showers and storms will continue for the rest of tonight. They'll persist into the early hours of your Monday or Tuesday morning, and then we may get a break in the rain late in the afternoon. Temperatures again, you still below low average for this time of year. Wednesday and going at the next couple of days here, we'll begin to see a lot of that drying air on Wednesday, some scattered showers on Thursday, some mostly to partly cloudy day on Friday with rain late. And then again, we'll keep a close eye for Saturday for the Smith River Fest, or maybe if you're a parent, maybe you're gonna be helping your kids move into college this weekend. So just let them know, or maybe you'll be, or if they're going by themselves, let them know, hey, the, the weatherman said at uh, B2W, we got rain coming this weekend. So just keep that in mind wherever they may be heading off to. So all of our educators and students, I hope you have a great first full week of school. I know it's just like uh, the first few days. I remember those. You want to just brush right through them. So uh, I promise you treasure them because once they're gone, you're going to say, where did time go? We hear that saying a lot, right? All right, everybody, take care. I'm going to head off now and uh, get other stuff done here for you on the Facebook page and our social media outlets. I'm Dustin Staples. We thank you so very much for spending part of your day and watching BTW 21 News, Martinsville's Henry County only daily newscast from the studios in the city of Martinsville. I'll catch you Tuesday. Your BTW 21 weather forecast is sponsored by Zentmeyer Chiropractic.